Napoleon was conquering Europe. And all of its generals and stuff would go into the cellars and they'd pull the bottles out and they'd take their sabers out and take the tops off and start drinking them to celebrate those battles. And it kind of became a tradition. And then they finally started, they started to build these big pyramids of champagne glasses. They'd stack them down a the pyramid, open these nine liter bottles of champagne, and pour the top oh. one, and they would just cascade and fill all the, all the glasses, and they started at the top and pass them out. Cool. And so they still do it today. The bigger bottles are really fun, but I don't have any big six liters, but this is a champagne saber. Use the back side of it because you need a heavy flat side and you catch it right on the on the metal lip, on the glass lip and pop it. And the whole, the, what you have to be careful when you do it is most of the time you have a tendency to do this type of thing. That's why we're standing over here. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to go that way. Okay. Yeah, but you got to go down the bottle and you got to hit it, your glass right at the base. And also, if you're worried about glass falling in, it never does because the pressure of the champagne blowing out takes any glass and splinters with it. When it goes, because you'll see it, the champagne come out. Should we have our glasses ready to get the overflow? Get the pyramid going. Oh. Sure as hell keeps twisting that thing around. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how it works to see how the champagne will blow out. So, you never so have to about let's see a close up of that edge oh, there. Wow. Cut. Cool. Because a clean cut takes it right off right at the base of the cork. <laughs>